Uh, I was approached by uh, St George Baptist Church to ask to be the moderator. And uh, we thought about that, prayed a bit about it as an as a, uh, eldership team at Kent Road and felt that uh, St George Baptist Church was in quite a critical uh, situation at the time um, and still is. And we felt uh, that we want that what it needed was something slightly different from a moderator to step in. So we proposed putting together a little team that would help uh, both pastor and pastoral care, but also looking for some strategic way forward for the church. So we, we've uh, been doing that, I guess, for a year. Um, uh, we work a little bit with Baptist College, uh, certainly, and that's where, where Lucy comes in as uh, somebody who drew along, joined that team to do some research. Uh, Andrew Kellett, who's over here, was part of our congregation and, and joined us to do some pastoral care. And some people from Kendra got enthusiastic about it, and so uh, a whole home group joined in as well uh, to help run Sunday services and, uh, and just find a way ahead. So we, we've been doing that for about uh, 15, 16 months now. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been an interesting story. But that's, so it started as a kind of moderator thing, but has developed into a bit more of looking at a strategic kind of team with some pastoral care. Okay, thank you. And, and the cost for you at Cairns Road, in terms of... People, you know, it sounds as if you've had to kind of let go some folks to, to be involved uh, there. Yeah, uh, the cost, um, there isn't an overall cost really. I think people have, uh, the, a, a home group from Cairns Road has become involved, a small home group, um, and there's obviously been some financial implications, but I think what we've been finding in terms of working partnership is that the benefit back to the church is greater than what we give. Uh, in the sense that it involves people, some people who have been involved in some of these areas of partnership have said that their faith has been completely renewed through it. Uh, we found uh, young people in their teens as well as uh, people in their 50s and 60s engaged in partnership. And it has just added a new dimension to their faith personally, but it's, it's stretched us as a church into parts of Bristol we never knew about. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and into communities, uh, different ethnic communities, different groups of people in Bristol that we, we previously had no knowledge about. So I think there isn't an overall cost. We, we pay some things, but the, as it were, the benefit back to the church and the growth of the church and its faith and its vision in, in the energy that it has is grown through this. So I would say the cost, the, the, in, the ba in balance, we are the beneficiaries of, uh, of that partnership. So it's been a good investment. It, it has been a good yeah. investment so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your your strategy for, for reaching out to the people of St George during the next 12 months, or say from September through to the summer. Mm -hmm. What will that involve? Um, well, at the moment we're um, developing a mission team and we'll meet together regularly to pray and um, to have fellowship with one another in the uh, coffee shop, which is great. We can have the keys to the coffee shop. I think that's brilliant. The owner just lets us have it. Um, and then we'll also be involved in two um, mission initiatives. One is Messy Church, which sounds great, doesn't it? Um, which is about children and families um, and doing crafts and art together and then having um, a meal together. So it's very <coughs> relational, uh, built on building community. And the second is Cafe Church, using some of the principles from the Cafe Network idea. And um, we'll be in the coffee shop kind of building relationships with those people who wouldn't usually darken the doors of our churches. Okay, thank you. Just one last thing. How can we, um, how can we best pray for you guys then? You know, it's good to hear about what, what's taking place there, but how can we pray for you as we kind of look forward to, to the next year or so? Um, I guess there's so much we need prayer for, I guess, but also one, I think, is um, building this mission team it's so important that we are able to get people involved <coughs> in these uh, two initiatives. Uh, not only people from Cairns Road, but also churches around the area and Christians who live in the area. Um, and that they would be able to get involved as they're the people who live and work in that area. Um, i I just add one more thing, um, as well as pray. I mean, come as well, come along and join in. So this year we have a mission team. In a year's time we want to have a, a church planting team, a, a group of people who will be committed to planting, or in effect replanting a, a church in that area. 
And this is a great opportunity for one year if there, if there are people uh, that you'd like to send along uh, to St. George uh, just for one year to, to, um, to grow in understanding what it's like to run a messy church or to, to run cafe church uh, and to, to discover together uh, some, some of the, those sorts of forms of outreach. And really to, in this part of Bristol to see um, our prayer is a thriving Baptist church of some kind, we're not sure what shape, but replanted. So pray for that, but also um, send people, send young people, send old people as, as um, missions team into this area. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much.